Hey guys, it's Sarah with AmericanMuscle.com and today we have a review and install of the MP Concepts Rear Spoiler fitting 15 and newer Fastback Mustang models. This is perfect for the Mustang owner who's looking to add some style to the rear of their car and wants an aggressive looking wing option that's not going to break the bank. It features track inspired styling with angled end caps to give your Mustang a more aftermarket look. It features injection molded construction with a black finish that you can leave as is or paint to match your Mustang. So as far as price goes, this option comes in at around $275, which is on the lower end price wise when compared to other options. And for your money, you are getting one of the more aggressive looking wings out there while saving some money over more pricey options. And as far as the install goes, I'm giving this one a two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It does require drilling in order to mount this wing. And if you did have a wing factory, you will need to plug or fill those holes. All in all, it can be done within two hours. So let's check out the install. For this install, you will need a drill as well as a 1 8 and 11 30 seconds drill bit. A optional but helpful tool is a center punch. You'll need a ratchet as well as a 10 millimeter socket to remove the factory wing. You may also want some goo gone to remove the residue left behind. You will also need a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench as well as a three millimeter Allen key, a pop clip and trim panel removal tool. You may also want a rag, some painter's tape and a measuring tape. All right, so the first step in our uninstall is to pop the trunk so that we can remove the factory wing. Now, for those of you who do not have the factory wing, you can skip ahead and start right at the install. But for those of you that do want to remove your factory, we're going to pop the trunk and get it removed. Now, in order to remove the wing, we need to remove this cover on the deck lid or on the underside. What we're going to do is remove each of these pop clips using a pop clip removal tool. Just pull straight out and remove it. Now these are going to be reused, so try to be as careful as possible when removing them. And there's also two on the back of the deck lid. They might be a little bit hard to see. Remove these as well. Now you can start to peel this back. What we're gonna do is go around these two rubber pieces. Just pull those through. Now we're gonna remove it around the latch itself. If you pull the cover to one side, you'll see it start to open up. Slide it around the latch cover and remove it. And now with that cover removed, we can see two nuts on studs here. We have to remove those in order to remove the wing. With a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and get these removed. Now you'll see two rubber grommets, one on each side to pop these out. You can do them by hand or with a trim tool. And then you can see the same nut that we just removed from the center. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and let's get this out. And now all I'm doing is tilting down the deck lid here and just using a socket to remove this nut so that I can get it out without dropping it down into the deck lid. Now we're gonna repeat that on the other side. First, remove the rubber grommet. And with your 10 millimeter socket, loosen the nut. 
And now we're going to tilt it forward as we remove the nut the rest of the way. All right, now at this point we can remove the wing. However, there is a lot of adhesive underneath the wing holding it to the Mustang still. Now in order to get this up, I suggest using a trim tool to pry on the wing at various locations. And if you are worried about your paint, you can use a rag around it. So we have that here. We're just gonna start at the corner, pry up a little bit by hand, and then continue to pry along the wing using your trim tool. And then once the wing is free, go ahead and grab it and lift it straight off of the Mustang. All right, now at this point with the factory wing removed, you need to clean the surface and remove any adhesive that's left behind. Now before we use adhesive remover, we're gonna try to get as much of this off as we can. You can roll your finger down it it's a little bit inefficient, but it definitely gets the job done. Now you can also use other tools like an eraser wheel or something that's not going to damage the paint, but will effectively peel off this adhesive. Now that you've gotten off the large pieces, either by hand or with a tool, we're gonna use a little bit of Goo Gone on a rag. Just go ahead and rub the rest of the smaller pieces until your deck lid is clean. All right, so before we can get our wing installed, we have to do a little bit of prep work. We need to install studs in the bottom of our wing and also install the end plates on each side. And for those of you who don't have a wing factory, this is where you will start your install. Now we have the inside of our end cap lined up to the end of the wing. Now these are side specific and they really only go on one way. So line up each of the studs to these holes. You should see them poking through. And then what we're gonna do is take a screw for each hole, start to thread it in, and with a Phillips head screwdriver, tighten it down. And once the end plate is mounted up, you can cover it with this cap and snap it into place. Now we can repeat that on the other side. Line up the plate with all three studs. We're gonna start at the middle to help us line it up. Install your screw and with your Phillips head screwdriver, tighten it down. Repeat that for the other two mounting points. And don't forget to pop your cover on. Now at this point, we're gonna put this double-sided adhesive on our wing. Now these are side specific, so make sure you have the right side and all the holes line up. Make sure you place it evenly over top of each of the threaded holes and press it down. 
Now the surface should be clean and dry before you stick this. And with it in place, we can start to thread in our studs. Now we're gonna leave these loose for now and tighten them down when we install it. Now we're gonna repeat that process on the other side. All right, so now that we have the factory wing uninstalled from our Mustang, we can check it out side by side with our new wing here. Now, as you can see, this one features a much more aggressive appearance than the wing of your factory. The factory wing comes sort of understated, and this one is definitely the opposite. It's lifted up quite a bit off of your deck lid, and it features these large end caps on each side to give it that aggressive appearance. It does have a nice black finish that you can leave as is or paint to match your Mustang. So with that said, let's finish up our install. All right, now we've already cut out and lined up our templates. The general location for these is actually just in front of where your factory wing sat. Now I would suggest setting your wing on here, making sure you like the location, and although there is a template, double checking with some more measurements. I'm just gonna check out a few measurements from the edge of our deck lid to the mounting points, and just make sure they're similar to that of the other side. All right, now that we have our templates laid down, I did want to take a second to point out that this new wing does not mount to the factory holes. If you do have a factory wing, you will have some exposed holes that you either need to plug or take to a body shop to have it filled in. Either way, we're gonna move right ahead with our install. We're gonna mark each hole with a center punch so that we know exactly where to drill. Now, if you don't have a center punch, you can just make a mark at the center. This helps our drill bit find exactly where we want it to go. Now we're marking right at the center of this hole and just pushing down, and that will make our mark. Repeat that with the rest of your holes. Repeat that on the other side. Now we are starting out with an eighth inch drill bit. We will come back in with a larger one later. Make sure your drill bit is seated against the center punch that we just did, and then go ahead and drill. Make sure it goes through both layers of your deck lid. Now we're gonna repeat that for the other two holes. All right, now we have our larger drill bit. This one is 11 30 seconds, and we're gonna drill this hole out wider. Make sure it's nice and centered into the hole you've already drilled, and go ahead and drill it out. Repeat that with your other two holes. Now we switch back to our eighth inch drill bit so that we can drill the other side. We're gonna repeat that process on the passenger side.
And again with our 11.30 seconds drill bit. Now that your holes are drilled, we can remove the double-sided adhesive so we can stick down our wing. Go ahead and remove that backing to expose your adhesive. And repeat that on the other side. And now at this point, you can lower the wing onto your Mustang and through all those pre-drilled holes. Once it's through all of the holes, put a little bit of pressure to stick it down. Now we have the trunk opened up. You can see the studs coming through the back side. What we're gonna do is we're gonna throw a washer over each of them, as well as a nut. Now keep in mind these studs are still loose. We did not tighten them down. So we can adjust the stud as needed to expose enough of it to tighten down the nut. Now what we're gonna do with a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, I'm gonna tighten down this nut while I hold the stud in place with a three millimeter Allen key. Now repeat that for the rest of your studs. You may have to tighten them a little bit by hand because they may have moved when we were tightening one. Repeat that on the other side. Now we're gonna reinstall this cover. We have our escape handle through here. Then we're gonna line up on the latch cover. And just work it around the latch cover until it sits in place. Next up, around each of these rubber pegs. May take a little bit of finesse to work them all the way around there. Once you have them all the, all the way through, they should pop in place. And if you are having any trouble popping it through, you can run a trim tool around the edge. And work it the rest of the way through. And don't forget to pop back in these rubber grommets on the outside that will help keep moisture out of your trunk. 
and replace all of the factory pop clips. All right, so that is gonna do it for the review and install of this spoiler. And remember, for all things Mustang, keep it at AmericanMuscle.com.